Hey right, guys, Triff Kuzli here today with we're back with episode 9 of Fruit Baskets. I was excited to do this yesterday, but it was delayed. Which saddens me because this is probably, it's up there. I'm really enjoying this show quite a lot more. than I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought it would be. Like I thought I'd enjoy it, but not, not this. Um, it's been solid so far. Like I say, I've not got too many flaws. It looks visually pleasing. I'm liking the story. It's nothing too overcomplicated. Nice, simple. I'm loving the sort of like hints of romance at the moment can't wait for it to get more into that which i'm really looking forward to in um especially some more like keo and toru moments we'll get some nice past on some of the characters i really enjoy getting a bit more insight into toru's character last episode i think that was really nice to see like how she puts up a front for like everyone else and just and tries to look out for everyone else but herself and it was nice that the boys came back and didn't leave her alone over the over the holiday, especially with it being the first year without a mum, which is pretty. I also like the fact that like, Shiga literally um, talked to that one basically like, i seen him pleased that she was being lonely as she brought this onto herself, which I didn't think his character would be like, because he's just so nice to everyone. And he doesn't seem to have a mean bone in his body. The fact that like he, he the type of woman he was just like, yeah, you bought this on yourself. I was like, I'm quite surprised he came out with that. And I did love that again, because it brings a lot more to him. As he, I, I, I really like him. He's probably one of my high tier characters just because he's such a fucking boss. But yeah, no, he just goes around with his robe, just like the bit, the farm figure basically of those two's life. Get to know a few more side characters, so I'm looking forward just to learn a bit more about a few more side characters. I'm enjoying the past the characters as well that they're bringing in, and that like, gives you that sort of um, Clanad vibe. Where like the first season of Clanad was like him looking, helping other people. There weren't much romance, and then and then later on it sort of like dove more into the romance side. So I could see this doing that in this show. Which would be pretty cool, and if it does do anything like an after story, I would be excited. If this even does anything like that, as I really, I've wanted a romance anime to do that for a long time. Other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoy this reaction. If you do, leave a like and subscribe. I try and do this every week along with the other seasonal anime, and a few live action shows like Stranger Things and Umbrella Academy. Let's get into this. <laughs> it looks so cool. Just has a mic. It looks interesting. Some things ever change. Oh, got a fever. It's gonna be uh, Toru looking after him. Why has he got the Super Saiyan, mate? What's going on? Marathon? Yes. Did you know what a race? I know that look. A race. He's challenging him. Which means it's a competition. Even I'm all fired up. You better not back down. Seriously. Fuck's sake. Do it. If your body gets too big. If I don't compete, I'll never hear the end of it. Oh hey. I don't think I've seen you. See, I won't compete just to piss him off. Hanachan should be here somewhere. That's me when I leave my house to go to work. Alas. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Run for her. Had to get out of this. An elderly person. Fuck's sake. I'm enjoying the dub of this show, to be fair. I didn't even look at the pole, shit. I probably should have looked at the pole before going on the dub. Let's enjoy the dub. <laughs> Sorry there, guys, if you prefer the sub. This could end really badly. I like the design, looks cool. Ouch. I love the way to react. <laughs> Is as thick as Kyo's here. Never ever try this at home. Oh, this guy's Deadpool. So it's your turn. No, and I meant it. We're done, man. Leave. This guy an ox. Too late. An ox, I'm guessing. Interested in your petty excuses? Now get up! It's time for you to prove that you're someone who's more fierce than Kyo. Wow, I didn't think it existed. Is this guy's split? Fucking hell. What about Yuki just like, cool. He's the Yori bait of the series, I can feel it. 
Fine, but I guess you must have lost it. And this is how he repays me? And anyway, what's a little of this and a little of that? Whatever it is. Girl, oh, it's so dense. Still, for some reason, I'm extra pissed off now. <laughs> Being jealous about being there and you jealous. Wow. When did this turn into a shonen anime? She's doing a good job, mate. Best fighting animation of all time. Looks like we've been transported into a martial arts movie. I don't know about you, but I would greatly prefer not to get caught in the crossfire. Yeah, right. He's so passive. Ooh, Kyo won. What a guy. He actually won a fight. What did she do to him? I'm very curious. That woman's very menacing. What did she do to Yuki? Was she just like obsessive over him? I'm saying if I'm gonna hug someone, I'd prefer to be a cute girl like you. Dramatic. Excuse me, what are you doing? Ask permission first, you jerk. It'll be easier on you if I carry him this way. He's an ox. Come on. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. No, he's a cow. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, wouldn't that be even more like, what the fuck? Why is there a cow just in the street? Two of the slackers. Mate, I'd accept that. That means he'd have to go out of the run and she gets to go home. That's the best, best outcome. Why is he in the coat? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Kyo, you have a good doctor. Another man just wears like a fucking kimono at all times. I wish I could do that more, man. That'd be awesome. I'll do it. Where's the phone again? She's gonna be scarred for life. He's gonna be compared. Why is your eyes sparkling? High school girls. High school girls. And there we go. <laughs> There's a real reason. What now? Rat you didn't sound like you got chewed out. Fucking hell, we're so calm about it. I'm going back to school. Oh man, passionate about education. Those two, they get into fist fights every day. Not really. They do argue and yell all the time, though. Oh yeah. It sounds like they're getting along a lot better lately. That's yeah, if you bear in mind that he weren't even living in the house before. Their vibes have changed a little, and they're not as uptight anymore. I'm not sure what's different now. Although, maybe it has something to do with you. It all has something to do with her. I don't know what I could have done to change things between them. It's not like I've been watching you, but I could be wrong. But as long as things are changing for the better, that's good. Especially for Yuki. What about Yuki's got this past we don't know about yet? <laughs> I like Kyo. And I blamed it on the rat. I was always on edge. Losing my temper at the drop of a hat. That's when it came out. The dark personality. Put my parents through hell. I took up martial arts, hoping it would help somehow. But the the baggage I carried was still there. I enjoyed my training. Stop oh, the soundtrack, I like it. I'm loving the soundtrack for Fruit Basket. At first, I weren't feeling it, but it's got some good bangers in there. We never actually spoken to each other. I'm stupid, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> Mate, put all that on Yuki. Fuck it out. Are you? Are you an idiot? No, I'm not. I'm not stupid. Oh. And those words changed him. I'm really not. No. No, you're not. Oh, Yuki, what a guy. After that, I decided he was the dirty rat without bothering to get to know him. <laughs> Oh, 
full circle. You know, I noticed something. It'll make him happy. So you can't see that though, because he's blushing as a rat. She f the girl going to be fuck's sake. How did they, how did they end up there? They must be going back to school. Obviously, the family is trying to work me to death. That was a fun episode. I like that. Good episode. Um, the new guy seems like a chill guy. Like his little split personality thing going on and his relationship with Yuki. I think that was pretty fun. And then we got a bit more inside Yuki. Yuki. And then I, like, I love the bit when like Yuki's like, just watching him and then the like, woman comes up behind and puts her arms on him. That was like um, pretty damn menacing. I wonder what he went through with that. And obviously then it gives a bit more detail. Everyone treated like Yuki as a rat. Like he's a snake sort of character. Um, when he's not, he's quite a nice guy. Um, that was cool to jump into. And then Taro just being a usual self is always adorable. Um, but yeah, just a fun episode. Learned a bit more about the characters. Really enjoyed it, to be fair. But other than that, guys, there's not too much to say apart from, like, yeah, no, I like the idea of um, the relationships with characters. I love exploring to meet other family members and see what sort of, like, learn a bit more about Yuki and Kyo. Well, right, it looks like Yuki's getting a bit more screen time now, as Kyo got a lot in, like, the first half. I feel like Yuki's getting a bit more now. So I'm like how they're splitting that sort of screen time up a bit more. And then, yeah, I'm just going to want to see how it unfolds and see how the story goes. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. Hope to see you next week. Peace.